But at this point, I think it's best if we both go our separate ways. I, I don't understand. We don't like you. We want you to leave. <laughs> Clearer? So you're staying at play now? Why not? The pay is good. I got dental and private access to one of the great handicapped toilets in the city. But they know you're not handicapped. Aren't you ashamed? They're the ones that should be ashamed. They signed me to a one-year contract. As long as I show up for work every day, they have to pay me. Good morning. Go to hell. Hi, Alice. That's a nice dress. Don't even look at me. Hey, Glenn. Hey, go to hell. Heard that one already. Hello? Hello! Hello! What's going on? Siege mentality, Jerry. They really want me out of here. They've downgraded me to some sort of a bunker. I'm like Hitler's last days here. So you're gonna leave? Oh, no! I'm invigorated. <laughs> They'll never get me out. I'm like a weed, Jerry. I thought you liked Hitler in the bunker. I'm a weed in Hitler's bunker. I'm getting a little uncomfortable with the Hitler stuff. I got another call. See ya. Well, Clay now's through playing. They turned the heat way up in my office. Tried to sweat me out. Do you have to write all this stuff down? Well, Mr. Kramer's in a meeting with Mr. Lomez, but he didn't want to miss anything. So how hot did it get? I don't know, 120, 130. Then they sent some guys into sandblast for six hours. Tomorrow they're putting in asbestos. I guess you can take anything but actual work. Bring it on! Hello, Kramer! I'm sorry, I couldn't get out of there. What did I miss? Well, after ordering, Mr. Seinfeld and Mr. Costanza debated on whether or not Iron Man wore some sort of undergarment between his skin and his iron suit. Uh -huh. And I still say he's naked under there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, uh, shut up. <laughs> then Mr. Seinfeld went to the restroom, at which point Mr. Costanza scooped ice out of Mr. Seinfeld's drink with his bare hand and used it to wash up. And then Mr. Costanza then remarked to me, this never happened. George Costanza. How are you, sweetheart? Listen, could you give Mr. Tomasulo a message for me? Yes. If he needs me, tell him I'm in my office! <laughs> you win, George. We've had it. You leave right now and play now will give you six months' pay. That's half of your entire contract. Please, just, 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 just go. See, if I stay the whole year, I get it all. Want to play hardball, huh? Fine. Attention, Play Now employees. George Costanza's handicapped bathroom on the 16th floor is now open to all employees and their families. Well played. I'll see you in hell, Costanza. <laughs> oh, uh, you might want to stick around, Jerry. Mr. Thomas Sulo picked the wrong man to hire because he was fake handicapped. I can't. I got to meet Claire. You gave up the voice? Yeah, that was stupid. Unless you guys are liking it again. No, no. no. <laughs> Darren? Sorry, Mr. Seinfeld. Uh, bathroom? Hey, use mine. I'll let you in. I thought it was open to the public. I, uh, I took care of that. Wow. Xanadu. I wonder you're putting in so many hours. May I? I insist. I'll fix us a drink. I got it. 